Hey guys, I today I do want to cover a quick topic related to list view and let's just directly jump to the example and the topic itself. So currently I am on a sales app on my, one of my trailhead org and I'm, I'm currently viewing a recent view um, uh, object for, for opportunities, right? This all records that I just was recently viewing but at the same time, I'm not actually seeing uh, all other re records, right? You guys, apparently, you already noticed that you can actually click on it and you can see all these sections, right? And it actually tells you recent list views, right? And then you usually probably go to all opportunities, right? And then you try to pin it. So next time you come back and this section will open up. Right, currently I'm opening all the records that is available for me. Again, let's go back to this section. Let's see all the list views I can currently I have. And if I, for example, click uh, closing this month, so I guess I have nothing for now. So basically those records uh, with with the filter, let's see if there's any filter configured. Yeah, you can see that filter for this opportunities, uh, they're trying to see if uh, for opportunities whose stage closed equal false right and equals to this month so the system prepared this for list for you for you and then configure a specific uh, filter but let's create our own list view actually and then in the next class I actually will show you a couple of uh, filtering but for now I just want to show you how to work with list view and in this case uh, I do want to create something new I do want to create uh, actually not a list view. I want to create a new list view. So I go to this section settings. I create a new and uh, let's see um, custom list view view by, by Firas. API will generate automatically. Here you are configuring uh, permissions who should be able to see your list view so in this case this is only available for me um, you can also see the help text and if i click this one it will be available for guest partners profile and customer portal users and if i do want to share with specific uh, groups of users i can do that too i can specify user or i can specify the sharing based on roles okay let's make this only available for myself and just go ahead and create it right now I'm not talking about filters for now but I do want to show you the section uh, what fields I do want to see uh, for this specific list here so in order to configure that you just need to click uh, settings section and then actually edit list I'm just kidding it's not list filters but select fields to display and then here's the all fields on the right section. You can see those fields uh, currently are displaying, right? And, but I wanna maybe bring couple more to on this section to display so it will be available as another column, okay? Uh, so let me actually go ahead and show it to you. Uh, Let's, rem let's bring the amount to the top, account name to the second, stage is important, close date, let's remove that, let's remove this one, let's maybe we'll add probability, right, or let's actually remove it, so I, it's actually uh, very clean, right, I'm gonna save that, save it, so now you can see only one, two, three, four columns which I specified for this specific list view. I can actually filter, uh, pin it. So next time I actually can see it here. So it's very user, user friendly. And I also can um, change the width for my column, correct? And then add more columns to the right section, right? But cool thing I will show you guys, you can um, reset those width. And the way you do it, you just click back to this part and you say reset column width. So it will occupy the whole 
screen uh, for you automatically. So that's how you quickly work with uh, list view. I'll be showing how to um, add filters and then display certain items on my next video. I do want to make sure I keep this video so pretty short and then clean so you guys are don't lose interest and then you're uh, up to date to watch. At least that's my preference, guys. Hopefully you're enjoying it and uh, we will meet you in the next class. Thanks.